Hey students, Mr. Belay here. Sorry I can't be here in person. I uh, have a hospital procedure to kind of go through, so I can't be here. This is another fast class. I thought they were all done, but it's a fast class. But I don't want you to miss this. Um, so you're gonna be starting step one of a two class project called the Litter Landscape Lesson. Um, the idea is that this class, you're gonna draw a beautiful landscape. A landscape is outside. You're gonna show maybe an apartment building or a house, a nice uh, ground with trees, and then in the background, maybe some hills with things that are a little smaller in the distance. I'm gonna photocopy them. Uh, and then next class, you're gonna have your photocopy next to your beautiful landscape. You're gonna have your litter landscape. It's gonna be dark and gray because I photocopied it on a black and white printer. It's gonna have a little, you're gonna glue pieces of litter um, onto it. And then when people look at that kind of art, they're gonna think, hey, this is a beautiful landscape. It's clean, it's nice. This landscape, not so much. Oh, look at all that litter. Maybe I shouldn't litter. Sometimes art could be used to uh, put out a message out there. We'll do a nice cover, the litter landscape lesson, and rock it out. But I need you kids to draw your landscape today and color it. Um, color it realistically, try to color it in all the way, um, and then I'll, ha I'll have a chance to photocopy it. So for your landscape, here's your quick demonstration. Just watch and then you can draw after. I'm setting up foreground. Foreground is closer to you. Um, so I'm gonna set my ground up across the bottom, make sure I put my name on there, and then set up my apartment building or house. I would use like a nice rectangle or square, probably like a triangle roof, and then add details. Think, places have doors, places have windows, and you could draw these how you want. These are just some examples for you. Um, you could put extra details, maybe you want a chimney coming out the top, maybe you want a, uh, a fence out the side, maybe you want a pathway leading up to your house. That's completely up to you. Um, also, set up a tree. Trees are in nature. It's kind of against like littering. You don't want to litter in nature. Um, so a tree, I would use a nice tree trunk coming up. Maybe put one of those bushy tops on it, kind of like a cloud where you use a lot of curved lines. And you do things to personalize it. Maybe you put a, one of those holes that like a little animal would live in. You draw little extra details. I don't know, maybe you got a branch with like a swing coming down. You know, something real nice looking. We want this landscape to look pretty, look beautiful. Um, if you want to add in any other things, I mean, you could always draw like flowers. That's up to you. Now the background's important. Background is far away. It's in the distance. So again, I'm going to set up another ground line, but this one's going to go higher up. Maybe I got some nice hills in the distance. Maybe it goes behind the house and up the other side. Now I have my foreground. I have my background, and then I got my sky way in the distance. Um, in your background, things are far away, they're gonna look smaller. So add a few things. Maybe I have a nice house back here, but that house is gonna be smaller than the main one because it's in the distance, it's far away. Um, they call that perspective in art, in perspective, it's in the distance. Maybe I can add some trees up here. I can do some uh, little pine trees, those little spiky ones, again though, Anything I draw in my background needs to be smaller. It's in the distance. Add maybe some extra details. Maybe I got a sun, you know, maybe some clouds, maybe a couple birds in the sky. This is your nice landscape. And when you're good with your landscape, you wanna add color. Um, color it realistically. Um, green grass, blue sky, um, brown tree bark. So that next class, I can photocopy it and your pretty landscape will look dark and gray and you can add all the litter to it. All right, so my friends, I know it's a fast class. Good luck, do your landscapes and I'll see you uh, next week when I return. All right, bye.